Welcome to Wait to Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Author Astrid Lindgren first wrote about red-haired, freckle-faced Pippi Longstocking in 1944. Pippi was an unconventional yet empowering role inspiration for young girls. The book, named after the character, was published a year later. Pippi became so popular she also inspired a theme park, and her picture appeared on Swedish currency. Nevertheless, Breitbart.com reports libraries in the municipality of Bocherka have banned older versions of the third book in the series, Pippi in the South Seas. According to a news release from the Bocherka Council, this is because of an obsolete expression that can be perceived as racist. Pippi describes her father as King of the Negroes. Although the council and others considered the word Negro at best obsolete and at worst racist, it's important to consider the historical context. Just four years before the book was published, a black educator, Frederick D. Patterson, founded the United Negro College Fund in the United States. It is headquartered at 1805 7th Street Northwest in Washington, D.C. It still exists, and no one, as far as I know, is calling its name racist. All this reminds me of when I read Huckleberry Finn in high school. The teacher took great pains to warn us that another N-word appeared in that book. She said to ignore the offensive language, which was commonly used in 1884 when the book was written. Huckleberry Finn was a classic, which incidentally painted a very positive picture of the runaway slave, Jim. But... This point was lost on the Accomack County Public Schools in Virginia last year, when Huckleberry Finn was banned. But back now to Pippi. The Bocheker libraries have passed up an opportunity for young readers to learn about the nuances of historical context. Remember this. Political correctness will not stand for nuances. PC fans will be delighted to learn that the 2015 edition of Pippi in the South Seas has sidestepped the problem. It substitutes King of the South Seas for the other expression. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.